bring in Dale and Jerry. Good morning, gang. How so, are you guys doing? Good morning. Just last week, my son and I were talking about him coming down this Saturday, and we'd go shoot a round of golf. You know that he mm. was checking the weather before he told you that. Indoor golf. Oh, yeah, Dad, I'll be there for sure. I don't think no. that's going to work out this weekend. So. Virtual reality. There's oh, always wow. the uh, polar plunge out at the oh, Alderbrook. Oh, I was, was going to say, you're going to be literally there. doing the polar plunge, are you not? Oh, man. In the snow. Uh, we'll be out there at the Spencer Alderbrook. doing his inaugural plunge this year. No. Oh, yeah. I think so he's got a previous he's, plans. <laughs> got a haircut. Dance garden made back in 1990. He's got a, he's got a haircut. I can't he's change him. Oh, okay. <laughs> getting a haircut. <laughs> that can take all day. I'd That's grow a head of hair and get a haircut just to avoid jumping into <laughs> ice cold water. <laughs> so what's the plan then? Are they coming down? Are you not coming down? Uh, I don't think you're going to. I'm going to talk to him, but I, I don't. He may this. just come down and visit. I, I'm not sure, but uh -huh. we had. Kind when of, it's snowing, he's going to come down and visit. That's a smart move. <laughs> yeah, probably. I probably won't. That's why they invented FaceTime. I, I saw him at Christmas. Well, this is yeah. only February. Yeah, yeah that's getting it's close pretty enough. sooner than normal. <laughs> he's old like you now. <laughs> uh, Jerry, what are you doing these days? I, I'm just watching uh, the weather go by. <laughs> And it's been going by. And it oh, has man. been going by, yeah. It's a, it's been nice and cold and just a skiff of snow where we are, but it still is no reason to go out. <laughs> yeah, no. So right on the so, canal, the temperatures stay a, kind of a relative. I mean, there's not a lot of upswing and downswing. No, it stays pretty constant. It, there is a, we had a good breeze when that snow came through from the north. Mm. It really it blew up underneath the deck, and it was everywhere, but yeah. not a lot. We didn't yeah. get a lot of snow, per se. Now, up. Cushman, way up there, some cars came down the road, and they had substantial amounts of I snow bet. on their car. I bet. But uh, down along our area and 500 feet up, there was nothing. Mm -hmm. I, sounds like maybe the 500 feet might be a danger zone this Friday or Saturday. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. So that's something to be yeah, concerned the, about. The weather on the canal and the temperature is really kind of dependent on the direction of the wind mm -hmm. because we are up against a hill, so anything coming from the west typically we don't deal with. It's the northeast wind that comes out, that goes right, hits our house head on, oh, and you can yeah. definitely tell. And I think the this difference. storm's coming from the north again. We're going to blow down south. This yeah, year, some so. pretty big snow numbers up uh, Port Angeles, oh, yeah. Bremerton, and yeah. the like. Yeah, so that's something to be concerned yeah. about. But uh, hey, I finished my book yesterday. Oh, good. Well, I can ask you about that. How'd it go? So, uh, well, I, so far so good. We don't. I haven't gotten the final stamp of it. It'll take a couple of weeks for it to all get yeah. sifted out. But I did the last chapter in the epilogue and. The retail sample and the opening credits and the closing credits. And so I'm done. Yeah. And it was due Friday. So I, Phew. this is the closest I've been to the deadline before. So, so. when you do this, um, do you get into like, uh, I know that we think we talked that it's kind of a three hour max now. But if you are in a roll, do you push through or do you not want to risk it? Well, what I've found is I'm only really good for about four hours. And then I either my voice That's starts to go it. or <laughs> my <laughs> concentration goes yeah. or I get mad. And, <laughs> you know, any I take breaks and, st and stretch or go down, and get some candy or something, come back upstairs. But, uh, yeah, so four hours is about all, all I'm good for anymore. Much like, you know, it was good that I had those 45 years of radio training sure where you never work more than four hours a day that's it that's so all now it fits do. my new schedule just perfect so yeah <laughs> now now he he sleeps in past his uh, old time that he was productive <laughs> spencer showed me a photo from uh out grapeview way the other day of uh what'd you see a whale out there uh we did the neighbor down the road uh saw one they saw the spout and a little bit of the, the kind of the wake in the water but um it was really, really interesting. It was right down there off the loop. You guys nice. ever get anything up, up, far up your area anymore? On occasion, you know, they never announce themselves. Right. So usually, <laughs> like, oh, oh, I think I saw. Wait, I think we had them last year. Devin, you app where the, the whales will text you. Yeah, coming by. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, last year we saw a couple of occasions, but nothing this year. So I wonder far, if that's so. actually a, you could do that. I mean, they mostly all have. Uh, tracking devices on yeah, them. There's got to cool. be a some, there's got to be something. Well, that yeah. come up with that. Orca, Orca Network or whatever it's called. Yeah, they track them and they like they'll give you a heads up if they're in the region. That's really cool. Oh, check yeah, that out yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anything else you got going on, Jerry? Uh, Just no, I've been warm? kind of a delinquent in checking in at Habitat. I, I probably will stop by and uh, see the progress on the house. I know they did get it drywalled in and and whatnot. And then we have the other remodel that we're doing. So I need to check in and 
uh, see if there's anything I can do to help. But I, I don't do well in the cold <laughs> anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, and, and um, different days, they're at different places. So you really have to check in at the store in the and the calendar there oh, yeah, yeah. but i'm sure that's moving along we had kind of a, a slow down there at the first of the year where everybody had family and friends and whatnot and so that that kind of stopped a little bit of the momentum we had going but, it'll ramp up again yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. for sure and i i did watch the game did you yeah <laughs> what a snoozer huh yeah. it was a snoozer, a snoozer. Oh. unless you're a purist i guess is what they said but no, it was a snoozer. What that even you know mean? what? I, I was excited I about guy. the fact that, you know, Bill Belichick, genius that he is, figured out a way to just put the kibosh on that Rams offense. Wow. And I hope that Pete Carroll is taking lots of notes. Yes. Because I think there's a maybe, secret right there. You get a phone call into him during the offseason. Yeah. How'd you do that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, Billy, it's. You know, we got to face it twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was amazing. You know, some of the storylines are always so great, but the ones that where it kind of mirrored his, where. Brady was versus where uh, Goff was or whatever the yeah. quarterback's name. You know, Brady's first year in the league, he was like five, seven years or old, something, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. How they grew, he grew up idolizing Brady, and now he's playing again. I mean, those kind of storylines yeah. are oh, they're fun. They're yeah, fun, absolutely. And and uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Who's going to be the next Tom Brady? But he's setting records that are going to be unmatched for several several years decades tough. probably and uh, i think the real secret there to the sauce is bill belichick it really is yeah he's yeah. a he's a master well and that's what that's what the rams coach said was i was out coached yeah 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 i was out coached so. and why wouldn't he be he's a young guy and how many years of experience has belichick sure. had and, sure. and whatever they say uh, experience does matter yeah it does Absolutely. So onward to it. the next season. Yep, we'll see what happens okay next. That. Mariners we'll are right around the corner. Yeah, we started scheduling in our first sets of Mariners spring training All games right. on yeah. the air, That'll and be good. Uh, even I'll get that series out in uh, Tokyo on the air for folks. Yep, they can hear Ichiro back behind the plate. Now uh, there's a lot of talk about you know Seattle did dismantle a lot of their players, and if Kyle Seager would have had a decent batting average, he'd be gone too. Yeah. Um, but the upside, the silver lining in this is for you Mariner fans, baseball fans, you'll be able to go to Tacoma and see an active roster of Mariner players yeah. because they're going to be back and forth between Tacoma and Seattle all season long trying to figure this thing out. And so you're going to get some good quality looks yeah, up, close. up close. I mean, that's a beautiful experience out there at Cheney Stadium. So uh, I'm looking forward to the season. Ahead. Yeah, it'll be a good one. And uh, we'll see, uh, you know, T-Mobile Field and how they change in and bring in all that stuff, whatever. It all works. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's still a great place to play there at the corner of Edgar and Dave. We'll have a nice <laughs> splashdown Saturday. And if my son comes down, we'll come out and visit. Okay. And uh, if he doesn't come down, I still may come out and hey. See what's going on there. Say hi to my old friend Don. And oh Miami. yeah, it'd be good so. to see them. All right, thank. Thank you guys.